dude, what the fuck? You just gonna break into my truck like that, man? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Can you suck my dick, Cat Nigel? Okay. I was gonna give you like a beautiful rendition that I came up with while I was in the bathroom. Okay, give me your rendition. Well, I don't want to anymore. Yeah, you do. You got in my ass. No, you do. Well, no, I'm gonna tell you about something else because no, I find this more interesting. I just took a shit. Okay. And as soon as I left the bathroom, my cat decided. My cat likes to drink the cat uh, drink the toilet water. But so right after I get done taking a shit, I literally like open up the door and he like passes by me almost like almost as if he just went like sup and I like, didn't even just, just walk past. said nothing. Yep. And drink your your shit water. He's about to drink my shit water. And Did you not flush? No, I flushed, but there's still it's still shit water. But so I stopped him, but yeah. You know, funny stuff. Boobs. Boobs, Boobs across all the land. I'm going to keep doing this until you give me your rendition. Boobs, I want in my hand. What it was, it was, uh, it was, <laughs> I suck the dick of a thousand angels, and it all came in at a dozen angles. That was all it was. Bukaki, Bukaki, I love Bukaki. Sorry. <laughs> How do you say Bukaki? Bukaki. Put it up here. <laughs> uh, fatical. Phonetical. 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 Fo- fa- no, f- f- phonetical. Phonetic. Phonetical. 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 So medical. I just want to... Get medical. Ooh. Get a tentacle shoved up my ass. Oh, I'm so into tentacle shit. Deeply. Would you, would you fuck a snake? No. No? What if fuck a hot anime bitch? Would you cuddle with a snake? No, fuck no. No, like, they fuck get a they, they, they humanoid snake. Does it, is it, is it thick with two C's? Yeah. Okay, ma- mm, nah, no, probably not still. Actually, really? no. no. fuck snakes. I think it'd be fuck really, snakes. like, really cozy. I, I, I'd sleep with a robot chick. you sleep with a robot chick? Yeah, like right. Sophia. Yeah. Fucking, whatever the lyrics go. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, I think. Uh, 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 light saw she go dark, and then she pull the plug, light saw she go dark, uh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, throw chips at her, make the neck go, wah, wah. <laughs> or I can't, I can't think of lyrics unless I, like, think of, like, the actual melody. If I don't mm-hmm. have the melody, I can't you think can't of it. the rest. Yeah. It's weird, I'm a human Shazam, but, like. I'm not a human one lamb, you know. Like, I don't. I don't. I'm you not, can't just go off the top of the song. Yeah, I can just... tell you what it is, but I can't be like, "Yo, dude, check this out, dude." I don't have perfect pitch, dude. Drop it low. <laughs> Drop it low, 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 low. This is a quality podcast. I swear. Welcome back to In yeah. the Truck with AC. This is episode fifteen. Uh, it's we... crazy. Are we off track yet? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely. We're def- is this? I think, I think we're on track to something good. We're usually, we always start off on the fucking something tail good. end. Okay, well, I haven't done this shit. in a while. How the hell are you doing? You've been around me for two days, so you know how the hell I'm doing. I know what you're talking about. I just want to ask how the hell are you doing, because okay. you don't talk to me. You keep it in the mental style. That's fair. I'm, do- I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm a little stressed out. Like, I, I want you to tell me, like, when the other day when you said, God fucking dolphin sliders, I just really need to just... Adam, just give me a minute. I need to just take my dolphins. I need to go slide a little snoof, okay? It's, uh, I didn't ask, but like, How's now, yeah, How? what does that mean? Does that mean you're doing all right? Does that mean you're a little stressed out? You just need a little bit of coffee in the morning? I'm, I'm or little... you need to do some hard drugs? I, I I don't really know. I would really like to. Well. What, what does sliding some snoof from dolphin sliders mean? So, sliders, un- repeat that? So, you need to use your dolphin sliders to get some snoof. Use my dolphin slider to get some snoof. So if 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 you're using the word correctly, snoof, what I'm imagining is a little plastic capsule full of coke. Yes? I think that's schneef. Oh, you're, okay, fair enough. Now tell me what a snoof is. Is it that same thing, but instead of cocaine, it's ketamine? I'm just making up things, so you can be whatever you want it to be. Well, I, that, I, I, I don't think it's anything. Well, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm, just, I'm just making off definitions. Oh, uh... I don't know. Is it ketamine in there? You tell me. I don't know what it is. Okay. 
Well, I'm wait, asking, wait. I heard you say you wanted to do some dolphin sliders with, to get some snoof. And I'm asking you, what does that mean? I, I, think, th- I, I think I was saying that more metaphorically than literally, but like I do need to get my dolphins in, in, a, in a bunch. I need to get them all. I need to get their snoofs ready. You need to get their snoots ready for some snoof. Yeah, I need to get some snoots ready for some snoof. They need to get need to, they need a good cleaning on their snoots so they can get that snoof. And if they if I don't clean their snoots and they die from the schnoffs. So that's pretty rough, buddy. The schnoffs are very fatal. Schnoffs are pretty rough. Schnoffs are pretty rough, buddy. Welcome back to the track. How have you been? I eat pretzels in the morning. Oh, I have pretzels. You have pretzels. I want pretzels. No. Okay. It's no longer morning. It's like late morning. It's like eleven twenty one yeah. in the evening. I don't know what the hell you're talking it, about. It's not yeah, eleven twenty one in the evening would be eleven PM. Yeah, it is. Damn. It's already been that long. After dark, babe. No, I don't know. Fucking we my my neon sign and my brain is hasn't been it's still warming up. So am I. So <laughs> no, that's fair to say. I'm 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 very low energy right now. Yeah. Can, obviously, everybody can tell. We we just woke up. Basically. What do you mean? No, we've been awake for six hours because we're hardworking fucking niblets. Yeah, we <laughs> we're hardworking people. I'm very upset about myself this morning. Why? What'd you do? It was just the fact that I looked at my alarm. Oh, yeah, I got I got time. Ten minutes. <laughs> I just want to yeah, I don't. Minutes. Yeah, I can't I, do that. I I woke up when you were like, ah, oh, fuck, we're late. Mm-hmm. We, we didn't even late. wake up with the ten more minutes part. No, no, you, oh, no. Up. I woke up to the phone call. Oh, okay. That's I, what I, I woke up to. I'm like, I woke up the first time. I'm like, oh fuck, this means I can't go back to sleep because my favorite feeling in the world is waking up and be like, oh shit, I don't have to be up yet, mm-hmm. and going to bed more. That's what I wanted, and then I couldn't have that. And then yeah. I woke up with a headache and stressed out, and like, <laughs> ready to fucking. And here we are, it. down in energy drinks. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh, I fucking I, I genuinely hate that feeling when you wake up after, like, you wake up and you're fine. Like, I woke up when I originally woke up, I was fine, mm-hmm. clear head. Yeah. Slept for an extra forty minutes. I get up. You what fucking year fucked is it? up? Yeah, just <laughs> drunk off your ass. Who the fuck drugged me in the so forty minutes? It, it's, I have a very, very strong love-hate relationship with sleep mm-hmm. because for me is I love the feeling of sleep. Sleeping just feels so good, and I'm horrible. If if, if I let myself, I can sleep for like 14 hours just because sleeping, being in a dream world feels good. Mm-hmm. If I spend too long in it, then just my mental feels bad because I'm just like, well, I slept the whole day away, whatever. But like, I like the feeling of sleeping. But I don't like having to do it because uh, every time I, I usually have to go to bed is when I'm the most awake and the most productive. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, I need to go to bed like a normal person. But no, I got to go sleep. And then my sleeping schedule is all fucked. And then I'm just I'm just it's just I I wish I've, I've, I've said this for years. I don't know if I've said it on the podcast or the channel before, but I wish that um Life, how it worked was there was 24 hours of straight sunlight and then there was 24 hours of straight nighttime. Yep. That way I could sleep for, I could stay awake for like 24 hours and sleep for over 12 hours and it's not weird because then there's still nighttime still, to yeah. do stuff at night. Yep. You know? No, I could see Like, because then, how I would probably like schedule that is like get, unless I had to do stuff, a lot of stuff during the, the daytime, do like 12 hours a daytime, 12 hours a, a night to be awake, like be awake for 24 hours and then sleep for 12. Mm-hmm. I I think that'd be awesome. Now, I wish our bodies, do you think it's possible to train your body to, in, to like exist for 24 hours at a time? And, yes. And like not be tired. Yes. Cause like we, you could do it. Like we can easily do 24 hours, but like after like, you know, probably 16, 18 hours, you start to get really tired. Well, that that's kind of how I'm looking at it. It's like, so you like you stay up for 16 hours, then you sleep for eight hours. It's just you stay up for twice as long that you slept for. So I just imagine that as, okay, so now I'm staying awake for 24 hours, sleeping for 12, and then an extra 12, I can just do whatever the fuck I want with. Yeah. That extra 12 hours is just for me to enjoy. Right. And that I'm imagining a society that actually would run like that, and that'd be amazing in some sense, and... Watching like uh, 
I don't know how to describe this, but so like you would have the night and day shift would actually be be almost, yeah. Okay. But it'd almost be like a, there'd be two night shifts and two day shifts, and I find that that'd be really kind of interesting, just mm. because, um, uh, you would have the twenty four hours of just nighttime, and there'd be a whole other crowd of people that'd be coming out. You right. would actually have the separation of people that enjoy the nighttime and enjoy the mm-hmm. daytime. You'd have people that just want to stay at night. You yeah. kind of have the vampires. It'd be kind of it'd be kind of neat. I mean, you already kind of had that. It says, <laughs> but like, well, I know there's 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 a place on Earth. There's a couple places on Earth where it's like it's dark for like twenty hours of the day. I'm pretty sure. Well, I know. What is it? I know in Alaska somewhere, there's the where it hits the. Isn't um, it actually like thirteen days of? Or yeah, like it's that. just darkness. But then it, isn't it 13 days of light, too? Yep. Is that actually how that works? Yes, though? that is actually how that works. Because you just watch the sun go, like, you'll see it come up on the horizon, and you'll see it go to the top, and you'll see it come back down, and then just barely hit the edge, and then it just won't go under. Really? Yep. I Yeah, I, I've never actually... I want to go there. Same. I would like to go there for that month or two that they have that going on. Okay, um, damn. What's the... Even though residents of Barrow, Alaska, won't, the northernmost town in Alaska, won't see the sun for 67 days come winter, they enjoy the midnight sun all summer over 80 days of uninterrupted daylight. That's way longer than I thought it was. Jesus Christ. they won't see the sun for more than two months in the winter time, but in the summer it's eighty days of sunlight. That's like a third of the year. That's six months. That's half. Jesus Christ, half. What the fuck? It's like they're living on an alien planet. I guess the sun travels in a slanting three hundred and sixty degree circle in the sky. So even if it's below the horizon, it's barely below it for a long period. This means that even though the sun is invisible. We still receive very bright twilight that can last for hours or until the sun rises again. Huh. So it gets a little darker, but it, it pretty much what you were saying is like it doesn't it gets quite right go end, down. And then yeah, it goes, then it goes back up. I want to go like visit that. I, w- I want to be there for like that amount of time. Do you think they got a bustle in nightlife, or do you think it's just oh, boring I mean, oil town? I bet it's fucking awesome. You think night. it is? That's what I would. Because uh, I've always they imagined have to be living in, on that. They have to be like they have to have some type of ritual around that. Oh, imagine the fucking the solar energy you can produce. Oh there. well, how many days was it that they'd have daylight, and how many days have darkness? Darkness sixty-seven days, daylight eighty days. So they should have more. That's days. six months of sunlight. Just fucking everybody has just, solar panels. Yeah, just, just solar panels charge. everywhere. Yeah, dude. That'd be awesome. It'd be crazy. Can we, can we want to start a community out there? I mean, I think there's already a community out there. I don't, Alaska, well, we just, Alaska, I've always like imagined as just like an oil driving like it entire probably state. Is, honestly, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think of Alaska as like oh, there's a city, but I'm sure there is. There's got to be right. Uh, well, I mean, the, I know there's like Anchorage and stuff. I don't think that's uh, the fucking. I don't think that's the capital. What the fuck's the capital of Alaska? I know this. One second. I don't want you to say it. Capital of Alaska. Yeah, there's no way I would have known that. Give me a minute. I I think I actually know this. Do you? Capital of Alaska is... uh... Oh, my God. It was the only one that I remembered when I was in elementary school. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I know it. I know it. Do you? Yes. What does it start with? Capital of what? I'm pretty sure it starts with an A. It's Alaska. Capital of Alaska, Alaska. No. Uh, fuck. It's not Anchorage. No, it's not Anchorage. That's the only Alaska city I know, personally. It might start with an L. Apart from Barrow, it doesn't. No, it start, does it start with an A? No. No? <laughs> it doesn't start with either. What does it start with? J. I I have no idea. Yeah, maybe you didn't know it. What is the capital of Alaska? Juno is the capital. Juno, of okay. Juno, but it's spelled weird. It's spelled J U N E A U. Okay. Juno. Uh, shout out to anyone that's living in Juno. And it's named Juno. 
If there's anyone living in Barrow, Alaska, let us write in. What right. what is what is it like to have sixty seven days of darkness but eighty days of sunlight? Is it awesome? Do we what need to come? What is the nightlife like? Yeah, do we need? What is the nightlife like? Or like, do you guys have solar panels everywhere? Should we come there for like an entire summer and just chill? When like, so the one thing I'm very curious about is like because I have to be a lot of ice fishing, and so Probably, yeah. something that I feel like would be really common is that you would set up a shack on the ice. Wait, no, the the eighty days are during the summer. Yeah. Right? Okay, never mind then. I was gonna say it'd be cool if like, it was just frozen over during the all the, just the entirety daylight. People just live on the ice. I mean, it might be. You never know. Just live on the ice and just fish, 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 and just fucking keep going. Just God. don't even stop. Yeah, no, I, I kind of enjoy that. Not really. my type of life. I don't like fishing. Yeah, well, I just it's like a, I like grinding. Mm. So like that is like real life grinding. I'll See if, if I want to grind, I'm gonna go uh, play Ghost of Tsushima. That's fair. I don't like doing the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over. It drives me insane. I weirdly like monotony in some way. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just like there's there's like a rhythm to it. Once you like get yeah, there's a rhythm to a process. I like a structure and I like a rhythm, but I don't like doing the exacts. Like imagine if you did your job, you do kind of the same thing, but you don't do it in the same way every yeah. time. Now imagine if every day you have to take the exact same footsteps, you have to spray it the exact same way, you have to do the exact same like literally you're doing the same task mm-hmm. but normally you do it a little different every day you spray a little here you spray a little there no having to do the exact same, same. thing yeah that i wouldn't like well, like uh i guess i kind of have it uh i have it really plugged into my brain because i played a lot of runescape back in the day so that, that was all that was was mm. grinding just grinding all the fucking time right when you're getting your wood chopping up you're going tree 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 bank Tree, tree, tree. I mean, tree, that's tree, that's a just... little different though, because it's it's fake. You can put that down at any time. True. Imagine and if it was, if it was also, your everyday oh, life, you had to do that. You had to go cut down trees every day because that's your that's your living. You need to do that. There's also a lot of bots you can set up just to fucking automate it for you. Right. So. You can't do that in real life. That's yeah. that's called having money and butlers and right. shit. You uh, know, that's, that's called having robots. <laughs> that's, yeah, or being at the head of a company to where you don't work anymore, but they make you all the money. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. But. Nah, I like doing something different. Like, yeah, I might be editing every day, but I'm editing different videos. Yeah, you're editing different videos. You're doing, different you're, content. You're learning more. You're, you're yeah. Just finding new styles and such as 100%. you're doing it. By the way. Or, we, or we're working by doing this podcast, but it's, it's yeah, it's two guys talking, but we're, uh, we're having different conversations every time. True. I think. I don't know. We Maybe. could be repeating ourselves Probably. every fucking podcast. But what? But, uh Something that uh, I wanted to say to you because I do really like and I love the aesthetic is the little Japanese shit that you have in the thumbnails. I do love that. Oh, for the uh, yeah, just the expressions the off the catch stuff. Yeah, the yeah. I like the uh, the I really love that show. the what? Sorry, like the stuff you find in manga. Oh the yeah, expression is yeah, and like anime and stuff. I really like the the three lines. Mm-hmm. I, I I did it once and it just fit, and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna drag this over to this this other thumbnail. Did I'm like, oh shit, it fits here too. I'm like, oh, I guess this is our thing now. Yeah. Now, I, w- I would be totally fine with it if you just, like, one of the thumbnails, you just turn me into a straight anime girl. I could just turn you into an e-boy. Yeah, do it. Fucking, I'd okay. be totally okay with it. But I'll do that. Be sick. I, kinda, I want someone to dress me up as an e-boy. Like, full-on e-boy. Why don't you dress up like an e-boy? Because I don't really know how. You, you We talked about this Why the other day. I just dress like a dad. You could just dress less like a dad. More like an e-boy. I don't really know what I would have to do. But do you really want to be an e-boy? Who wants to be an e-boy? I kind of do want to be an e-boy. You want to be an e-boy? Yeah, a little bit. I honestly... It's a cool aesthetic. I I can't see you as an e-boy. I I could tell that you like stuff like that, but I can never see you actually straight up dressing as an e-boy. I don't think... Cutting your hair short. Yeah. Fucking dyeing it in colors, wearing very specific colors. Because you'd have to care about your clothes and your fashion if you want to be an e-boy. I have, but like, you just don't. No, I just don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, you you're not even wearing pants right now. I yeah no, I usually. Do you know that black uh that black scarf thing that I have? Yeah, I love wrapping that around my waist with nothing else and just like free balling it. I thank you. That thing is amazing. <sighs> okay, I think we got something to talk about. What? So something uh, happened yesterday. Last uh, last night, that is very detrimental to on the couch, and our channel and our thing in general. Um, the ten minute power hour came back, 
Uh, and we were heavily inspired to create Off the Couch uh, in lieu <laughs> of the 10 Minute Power Hour. The 10 Minute Power Hours was gone for like two years. And we returned before them, but only for about three months. And we have right. probably maybe 300 views for all the videos total. And they got like 700,000 in their first video. <laughs> well, yeah, when we, when we watched it at the time, it was 400K. Yeah. 460 something K. Some, yeah, something like that. And um, it was a fantastic video. Yeah, it was. It was hilarious. Great. It was great. I'm glad it's also. I, I'm happy it's back. Thank you, Unis Honest, for having one more appearance in our lives. Oh my God, yeah, they resurrected the dead. They dude. resurrected the. I dead. did not expect that. That dropped my jaw. I'm like, yeah. I was like, well, oh. at first I saw, I was like, oh yeah, Power Hour. Oh fuck, Power Hour. And then I noticed Mark and fucking. And then Ethan. it literally said featuring Unis Honest. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, that. It's, it's like, like it's oh the fact that they branded it like that. If they if it was just been like featuring Mark and Ethan, I was like, all right, whatever. But they yeah. said featuring like, Unis, Unis, Honest. Unis Honest. I'm like. Oh my god! They're the only people in the world that can say that. Yeah, featuring Unis Honest. I, uh, I almost feel like it. Um, like, now it makes me curious. When did they record that? Did they record it that? Wow! After way after. Okay, that. I don't, way, look, Ethan has his tattoos. His oh, very first yeah, tattoo right. yep. was on the the ending live stream, and yep. he has like four additional ones. Mm -hmm. And he looked buff. They all looked buff. It was, Why are they it, all getting super fucking healthy? I, I'm jealous <laughs> because their lives are together True. and ours aren't yeah. because we're still at the beginning, baby. Come on, guys. Wait a minute. Us out. Give, give we're us still at the time. beginning. Does that mean one of us is going to be replaced like John? I have genuinely had that fear for so fucking really? long and I just have not spoken about it because I'm like, once I speak about it, it's going to fucking happen. I'm like, actually, no, it already did happen. Yeah, it kind of did already <laughs> happen. Well, that's pretty soon. Uh, AC is on the couch with AC is weird. We gotta change it. That's too many. Uh, we don't like uh weird uh letter differences. So it's gonna be on the couch with AB pretty soon. Yeah, that is all. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, Game Grumps, on your mighty and uh amazing return to the ten minute power hour. Um, but this is um, <laughs> Wait. I, I said it on Twitter. Um. We would, uh, because Corey and I kept your seat warm for the past couple months. I know we didn't fully live up to it, but we tried. We it tried to give people something. Uh, we are formally requesting an invitation. We would love to come check out your new set. It only seems fair. <laughs> yeah, it only seems fair. Since we've been keeping them entertained yeah. while you were gone, you, you should, should be thanking us. us. Yeah, you should come on to our yeah, show. Yeah, you should come down on to our show. Like, yeah. come on. That was guys. my idea too. Yeah, and if you don't do anything about it. <laughs> You're kind of assholes, honestly. I mean, I mean, they are grumpy. They are grumpy. Pretty grumpy. But like, I'd forgive them for that. I mean, just give them some eggs and bacon. Yeah, you know what? Eggs, bacon. Eggs, bacon. Eh, I like want. I want Danny to make me waffles specifically. That's I want. Danny yeah, we'll to make wear... them eggs and bacon. But like, Danny's got to make the waffles. Danny's got to make the waffles in a maid outfit. It, yeah, that's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. in, see. In a maid outfit. Yep. And what does Aaron do? Uh, he uh, he. He he screams. He's he he insults us in Japanese. He insults us in Japanese and insults the waffle to be its greatest. Yeah. Is he also wearing a maid outfit or is he is he wearing? He's a, wearing a maid outfit with cat ears. No, he's just oh okay. Or is he just wrapped up in a tatami mat? Yeah. <clears throat> just wrapped up in it. It's, it's yeah. It's it's literally just a box. It's like when you roll out of bed and take your bed with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a sight. You guys can put that on your next pillows. That'd You're welcome. Sick. Danny in a maid outfit and Aaron just in a bed. <laughs> just in a bed. Yeah. You don't even get to see Aaron. It's just like his eyes are peeking out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just wrapped up in a mat. <laughs> Wait, all you see is like the the little blonde streak. You see the hair. cat ears. The, the cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, all you see is the cat yeah. ears. But um, we will be reaching out. So your people hit up our people. I.e. Um, we will message your people because you have people. We yeah. don't. I don't think you'll be messaging us, honestly. But we'll message them. Get our message. Come back. Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, we've legitimately been like trying to keep up in their place, right? Like, well, wait, that was. Kind I of actually the tried to submit to their subreddit once. I'm like, hey, uh, uh, if if you're missing the power hour, like Check these guys are pretty out. good. And then some some dude responded is like. By these guys, I'm guessing you mean yourself. I'm like, well, well shut up, dude. Kind of. But yeah, like, but like, I don't think we're that great. But like, I, I think, 
I just wanted a public decent, opinion. Decent, <laughs> yeah, I just want feedback. I, I think we're, we're we were trying to do it in lieu of them and trying yeah. to. I know we're, we're not doing as it great. in honor of them, not yeah, because we're taking their place. Yeah, please. Except, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it was honestly like a... Yeah, if you guys want to be awesome bit, and just give us the Grums channel. Yeah, it was a bittersweet <laughs> response to, yeah. to it. Even though I knew that we were never going to beat we're, them. Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, there was never... A, it was never a challenge a really to goal beat them. to beat them. We were just like, see if like, ooh, if like, we can come get... come on, if we can take it, it was mainly like, oh, can bit. we get the recognition? Yeah. Be like, oh, these guys are kind of like Power Hour before Power Hour comes back. Mm -hmm. No, Power came back, and it was, it was good. Good job, guys. The most I like the new set. The neon sign is cool. I thought we had one that was like 500 views. Did none of them get up Off there? the couch, no. No? No, Damn. there's not even one that hit 100, I don't think. I don't, uh, think so. I don't think so. I can check. God damn. Talk to me. It's just it's just so fucking upsetting. I So, Game Grumps, we love you. And I highly... Like, we, we definitely do take a lot of inspiration from you, and I'm really happy to see you back. But, like, you want to love us, like, a little bit? Just respect your elders. We've been doing this longer than you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, But, no, it'd be, yeah, 59 views, 18 views, oof, 72 views, 81 views, 57 88, uh, 51, 99, damn, Ooh. that's our first easy bake, uh, and then, yeah, that was our peak, because then it's 32, 32, then 60, our peak is the first, uh, easy, easy bake. bake, and that has 99, so yeah, none of them have 100 views, damn. And that, we added one of those last night. And we did add one of those last night. Well, did it count? Because we didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, we only watched the ending of it. It might have counted, though. I don't know how the counting works on that. I, I don't, don't know. know. If it's like, uh, if it Because I've had to... it go up to like four views before just by me checking the link at when I upload it. Mm. But I do think that they filter through it and remove it sometimes. Like, remove a view or two. That would make sense. I don't quite know how it works. It's weird. Well, it's basically essentially like a fake view. Yeah. So it makes sense if they would cut that out. Mm -hmm. If they would just completely like, no, you don't fucking get that. I, I do know that like, um, if a if a like a YouTube channel subscribes, to, or if, if someone is subscribes to you but the account isn't very active, or if it's like brand new, they'll mm -hmm. just straight up remove that subscription oh. from you. And I think that's what happened to us a couple times. I still can't tell what we're actually at, or if we're going down, or if it's still sitting. Because like, what did I say last time? I just checked. Well, it says 390, 1390, mm. but when I actually go to the studio, it says 1395. Oh. So I don't, I don't get it. So just I need five to ten more. Yeah, it's, it's annoying that we're not at 14. It was like we hit 14, we and hit we were it. so happy about We were at like 1450, Yeah. We? we were getting up there, and then it just stopped, and yeah. we stopped. And we stopped. And then... It's, it stopped uh, because we stopped. Yeah. And then it just, we haven't been able to really recover from it. Our hiatus fucked us up. Yeah, but I mean, we needed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the stuff we've come back with. We've been True. pretty consistent with it all. And we come back with more quality content. Oh, like, yeah, way, way higher way quality better. content. Because, I mean, our like, fucking listen to the podcast. Yeah, we got a podcast off the couch. Like, remember, all that shit started in January. Yeah. We never did any of that before. God damn. And it feels like we've been doing it for a long time. It feels yeah. like we genuinely have been doing it for almost a year, but mm -hmm. obviously we haven't. It's right. just so... It's fucking bizarre. Mm -hmm. Oh, I agree. What time are we at? 33. I got poop really badly, so we'll be right back after these sponsors. Do you hate it when your cat sneezes on you? Do you hate it when your cat is just coughing up a storm and he's doing that <laughs> kind of gross thing that always happens after they either hit one of the two buttons, either eat so fast that they throw up or eat so much that they throw up. It's always one of the two. It's never just eat normally. So this amazing new product, the cat blocker, what it does is you put it onto your cat and it fits like a collar and it stays in front of their face and catches all of the garbage that comes out of their face and mouth. And guess what? If you put in the into if you go to the website catblocker.com slash on the couch, 
you will end up getting 15% off on your brand new cat blocker. I highly recommend it. I've been using it for, I think about four months now, and I have a cat named Patrick that is very sneezy and very throwy uppy. And guess what? Every day I collect at least two cups, two cups of fresh, organic, amazing GMO free throw up and snot. And I put that shit in my garden. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And again, check out, the, uh, go to the link, catblocker.com slash on the couch. Go to that, 15% off on your brand new cat blocker. All right, we're back from our sponsors. Thanks for uh, reading those sponsors. I had to take a mad poop. Yeah, no um, I think I need to go on a detox. Yeah? Do you? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking, I'm like, man, like that was, that was. Was it a bad poop? Yeah, it was kind of a bad poop. No good. Uh, no good. No, do you say no good? No good. Good. No, bad soup. Bad soup. Bad soup. Um, That's just a bad soup. No, I am. I think I've mentioned it before on the podcast and just on the channel. I am horribly addicted to caffeine. Like, yes, you are. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll admit that. Like, I. It's like I think I have a caffeine addiction just for like how much soda I drink, and then I started making the tea concoction. Mm. No, I see you drink soda, and I will literally watch you drink four nosses in a day. Yeah, it, it's and not even, not even affect just, you. It's, but it's not even just like the soda. Soda literally don't do yeah, anything soda doesn't for do me. Anything I don't drink for soda you. for caffeine. I you drink have it for the to flavor. drink an energy drink or coffee. Yeah, energy drink or coffee, <laughs> and like literally, I could feel like the rush of the caffeine on my body. Like I, I described it before in a previous podcast. I think it's like I'm tired. I could sleep more. I'm I'm awake, mm. but like. Um, I'm I'm like wired and it's kind of like like the wired energetic is literally just like a, a shitty paint job over the tiredness yeah and that it's gonna wear off after a couple hours it's gonna start chipping away you know that's what caffeine is to me it's like if but, you set up a computer to d- try to paint yeah literally like well you know that caffeine is actually uh it, it affects your body the exact same way in, way as uh like shit like cocaine and meth do it, that's how it interacts with your. It uses the exact same um oh, yes. I know it, uh, molecules or, or chemical. I know or, it blocks or, or, the part in your brain that allows a. Uh, oh fuck! I just watched a video on this like two weeks ago. Oh what what is it? It's basically just another molecule that will lodge in mm-hmm. and to tell you that you're tired. Right. But so caffeine will come in and even Actually, while it's like still it, even it, while it the molecule is it. still blocking, yeah, it'll just knock it out and go in and right. just take the place of well, it. Yeah, well, because literally, I learned about it. When I listened to a stuff you should know podcast. Cocaine specifically affects your body the exact same way, the exact same method, the exact same like way it like what it does to your body. It's just cocaine is a lot heavier. It's more intense. Caffeine is way less intense. But like, like if you try to quit it, it's like shit like coke and stuff. You still have a very strong urge. Like as you start getting tired, it's more subtle. Like you get more tired and you're like, oh, I just need to drink more coffee or yeah. whatever. But like if you actually think about quitting, you're like, huh. fuck. Like, oh my God. Well, there's some days that I'm like, I wake up, I think I get enough sleep. And I'm like, yeah, I wake up perfectly awake awake and everything. I'm like, yeah, I got a great amount of sleep. I'm like, I don't need caffeine today. I can skip today. And then fucking four hours later by lunchtime, I'm sleeping in my fucking, in my place. I'm just like, shit, I need caffeine. Mm. But I was just thinking, I'm like, man, I'm probably destroying my gut bio. Maybe I should just like take a week or something and just try to drink just water. I'm kind of curious if I can do that. Have you ever had... Just I'll like, drink, like, juice and shit, too, but no, I want to see if I can just drink water. Have you ever done a day where you didn't eat anything, only drank water? Probably, yeah. I gen- I actually really enjoy doing that. I don't know why. Just I just I love that feeling mm. of, like, you just you just eat absolutely nothing. All you do is drink water. I've done this a couple of times. I don't do it, a, like, regularly. I, yeah, I don't know if I've actually fully done it. I've, I've eaten very little and drank water because um, there was a time I... I cut soda out for a while and just drink you know but water like, and juice but when you have a gallon of water that's all you have and you fucking you're like god i'm hungry i don't I think i could do it if water. i'm hungry because it's, it's healthy to still eat well yeah but it, so the way i always thought of it is like well if i'm doing a detox i need to make sure everything is out of me everything see i'd rather just take the longevity instead of trying to be like all right i'm detoxing all right i, I can detox in a day so i can go back to my <laughs> habits <laughs> well you that's know? not necessarily what i mean i don't mean like detoxing just to go back to your habits i mean more in the sense of like just for like oh my stomach is really fucked up i need to quick purge it i'd like well if your stomach's fucked up that that's different i can understand why yeah you wouldn't want to eat then 
No, it's just my bowels, my gut biome. I caffeine's probably not good for your poops, man. Probably not. Probably not. But like my stomach's just always fucked up. Well, so. coffee's a natural accident. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was the frappe we had earlier, if that was what did me in, but it might. I don't it, know. Well, I, I think there can't coffee. be enough real coffee in that. I don't even think I'm it sure is there real is. coffee. Real coffee's cheap. I'm sure I there's guess, real coffee. Yeah. Could it just be real coffee syrup, but it's true. Still, Coffee. It's still coffee. From coffee it's actual still coffee beans. It's coffee flavoring with caffeine in it. So yeah. well, I'm just that. I mean, there's definitely still like the bean. Yeah, the bean like, is like still re- a part remnants of, it. of the bean. Yeah. And the but bean, the bean would be in the poop. syrup, yeah. And poops are nice. Poops are nice. Uh I have a question. Or oh, actually, there's something I wanted to say. What what time are we at actually? Uh forty six, but that's also including was it was it ten poop. minutes or eight minutes or something? I'll just add like it, yeah, it was about it was about an eight minute poop. Okay, good. Um so fate. Tell me what you know about fate. Uh, like tell me your relationship with fate. Not like having faith, just like that, no, just huh, fate. Just in like general. the universe, like yeah. like the way things work. Oh, I love this. I love that you fucking. I, I have I, I have a point, but I want to hear what your what your thoughts are. Like something that I always find interesting about fate specifically is like I'll I'll put this into fate just because it seems like it happens to me enough times that I'm like okay, I need to listen to that. And so whenever I'm having like a hard time or like uh, I'm going through a lot of emotional turmoil, and I'll be emotional listening. damage. I'll go and uh, listen to just my playlist on Spotify. Just listen to my music and just let it go. And uh, occasionally I'll listen to a song that I haven't listened to in a very long time. And I just, I won't skip any songs. I'll just let it go. But that song will come on and I'll be like, fuck. It just plays. That is exactly what I needed to hear right now. That's fate. When you hear like a saying that you're like, like uh, a good one is, uh, there's a song called Your Heart is a Muscle. And uh, that fucking, your heart is a muscle, size of your fist, keep on pumping and keep on fighting. I fucking love that. But I don't know the song, but I like the great, message. Great song. Your heart is a muscle, you gotta use it to get stronger. Right. Well, it's it's like a, it's really depressing song, but also very enlightening because it's like, yeah, people kill themselves, but that doesn't mean you have to. Did I ever show you the song uh, called Hello My Old Heart? I think so. It's I- a really depressing song. It's pretty much just like, like you talking about like it's like hello my old heart how you've been like like you've pretty much locked it I locked it away like, I haven't I haven't used you, you well I haven't used you to like love anyone I've just been built building this prison around you you know for so long and it's like well, it's talking about <laughs> no you only get one heart man it's it's not it's not old heart new heart it's it's I was hurt so I locked away my heart and I just I've been heartless for so long. And I locked it up to protect it from hurting again. But in reality, it's it's a muscle. It just becomes fatigued if you don't exercise it. So then it's even harder and harder to come back to it. It's really deep. Hello, My Old Heart. It's a really good song. Um, I'm almost half tempted to actually like, pause and be like, yeah, listen to Your Heart is a Muscle. Like, that's a good song. You pause it and go listen to both of them right now. Yeah, they were fantastic songs. I really enjoyed them. Um, my, what I was talking about, Fate, is uh, you've said it to me before. I have the weirdest luck. It's strange. Um, but in particular, so I was, uh, before I came down um, or came, came over here to uh, do some hardcore work, <laughs> as we like to do. Um, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we get that bread. We get that ninja bread. Yeah, ninja bread. We gotta get that uh, wet toast. Ocean toast. Gotta get that ocean toast. It's just bread. <laughs> Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I went to a game store that I uh, was pa- I was passing through a town that I don't usually go through. I saw a game store. I'm like, fuck. It looks like a cute little tiny t- a tiny game store. Um, I walk in and I was looking around. I'm like, okay, there's some cool stuff here. And then I got, I get, this was Saturday. This was literally like the other day. I, I told you about it already. But um, so 
I was walking around, and then I get to the PS3, Xbox 360 second, section, and then I just, I, I do what I always do. I look for a very specific game that I've been looking for for my collection for a long time, like probably over at least a year, if not longer, uh, because I heard about it from the YouTuber Nick Robinson's video, um, What Would a Second Person Game Look Like, which is a fantastic video. Nick Robinson, love you. Come on our podcast, please. Um, I I want to see your McDonald's DSI. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that he had that. Apparently, someone else just found one. I guess I I didn't watch the video, but I saw a video uh, posted like a week or something ago. Someone found another one, which is pretty cool. Um, but no, he uh, he. I don't know. I don't know if he found. I didn't watch the video, so I don't know if he found the game, but he just found the DS. I think the game was the harder one to find. The, it's just like, how many people were like... I want to play it. It seems fun. Look at McDonald's. Uh, we're gonna be, you're going to be training on register, and uh, here's a DS. What? Just go to the DS. You'll figure it out. Uh, we should play it. Yeah, I would love Because uh, Nick Robinson, he... He, he put it online. Yeah, he uploaded the ROM, yeah. Which is... Thank you. That's awesome. I love I love the archive. Uh, archiving that shit. <sighs> Oh, don't get me talking about all my game collections and what I want to do with it. How do you mean? Technically, that's illegal. So I'll tell you off air. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely don't use it. Piracy, piracy's bad. Hmm? Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm, I don't know. Uh, now, video game archiving is very important, in my opinion. Um... So, I was looking for this very... Uh, the game is Driver San Francisco. Um, it was released on PC, uh, PS3, X, and, and, and Xbox 360. The reason why I look for that game is because, for some reason, I don't know why, a couple of years ago, Ubisoft decided to remove it from all of their digital stores. You cannot buy anywhere. I don't know if it was from, like, licensing from, like, songs or whatever or something, but they just swept the entire game under the rug, and apparently it was a pretty good game. Because I had the unique yeah. second... Yeah. Go watch the Nick Robinson video. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's very unique, uh, Gameplay. Concept. Yeah, concept. Yeah. Um, but you can't you can't find it anywhere. I mean, you can find plenty of copies on eBay. But like, mm, yeah, that's fun and all. But like, I love the hunt. Yeah. I'm addicted to the... like the. I think that's a good addiction. Apart from my caffeine. I like finding... I like supporting local game stores and like flea markets and people. And be like, if I can find a rare gem... Fuck yeah. It's even more of like a better feeling. Like when you find it in the wild, it was like, all right, if I want this rare thing, eBay, buy it. All right, it'll be here in three days. Right. Whereas it's just like, I can search, you know? I find it is yeah. So I looked through the Xbox 360 section. Uh, okay, Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball Z. And then it goes to like EA Sports. I'm like, ah, shit. Okay, the Ds are over. They definitely don't have it. Fuck. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not surprised. Like, I was hopeful, but like I didn't. Yeah, I, I expected that because I've almost never seen it. Um, because I've gone to actually, I've actually gone to multiple game stores over the past like year or so, and been like, "Hey, you have this in stock?" Like, no, we haven't seen it in a while. But like, do you want to be put on a, like a waiting list if we, if it ever comes in? Yeah, man, sure, that'd be great. And then I just never heard back. I'm just like, all right, cool. I mean, either they forgot about me or they just never got a copy. I'm like, all right, cool, that's fine. Yeah, they never got a copy or they didn't write me down. Yeah, or they didn't give a single shit. Um, and then I walk over to the PS3 section, and I go through, and um, A's, B's, C's, D's, Driver, San Francisco. Whoa! I hello. Oh, motherfucker. No, oh, that's I, wonderful. That yeah, mine was probably out for a little bit. That's fine. It was only for the end of it, so. Okay. Um. So I go uh, A's, B's, C's. D's driver San Francisco. <gasps> Holy sh no, I literally I, I passed it. Like I was I was skimming past. I went past it. I'm, and I, I had to double take. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and I went Driver <gasps> San Francisco. I pulled it out. I'm like, no way. I literally like said that at like a decent volume in this tiny shop. I went, no way. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I was very awestruck. It was for the PS3, which wasn't ideal. I want to find it for the 360 mm -hmm. because it's it looks better. But to find it for the PS3 is awesome too because it's completing my collection. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck yeah. So obviously I bought it. And then literally yesterday, we were I was recording with you. I got a random phone call. Yep. 
uh, I didn't answer it, and I went to voicemail. I listened to the voicemail, and I was like, "Hey, hey, this is uh, yada yada from yada yada. Uh, yeah, I just want to call you, let you know that uh, you were a while ago. You were put on a waiting list for Driver San Francisco for the Xbox 360. Yeah, well, we actually just had the very first copy come in in over a year, which is crazy. Um, but you're the first on our waiting list, so you can give us a call back by the end of the day. I wonder uh, if and, you're the only and, uh, person on that waiting list. I don't know. Uh, he's like, give me a call back by the end of the day, Tuesday, and uh, we can reserve it for you, and you can pick it up. Otherwise, it'll uh, if you're not interested anymore, if you find another copy, that's fine too. Just don't respond, and it'll go to the next person. Uh, have a good day. And I was just like, literally yesterday, I yep. found the very first physical th- copy I've ever seen for PS3, and then literally the next fucking day, bro. Fate said, here's another one. Fate said, here's your 360 copy. What are the apps? What are the actual odds of that? Like I'm, I'm actually still blown away that that happened. That's I don't even know. literally ridiculous. That's like, no within twelve to... hours, probably. I don't even know of how that happening. Figure out how the. I don't even know the like, equation you would do to like. That's get that's the ratio crazy. That. that is yeah. That's pretty. That's little up. like what if I never went to that one shop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I would have, maybe I still would have gotten the call for the three sixty one. But that would have just been like, oh, cool. But like, it's oh the fact God. that I found the PS3 yeah. version the day before by happenstance. Yeah, the fact if I didn't, you- if I didn't impulse, impulsively put my hunger aside and decide to go to that shop for 15 minutes, mm-hmm. I would have never found it. But I did, and fate is weird, dude. It's it's crazy. Well, and you're a big collect. You want to collect every version of every game too. Yes. So it's the fact that you went, oh, PS3 version, awesome. Now I can add this to my collection. Next day. Hey, we got another gem for you to put the right next to that version, gem. The 360 version, bitch. Oh, and because I was on a waiting list, they gave me $5 off. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty so is cool. it 30 bucks? Yeah, 30 bucks. So 25, nice. Well, no, they had they had a, they I think that what they said is they had it listed for 35. Oh, okay. And 30, but maybe they'll give me I don't know, I'm literally going to tell them that story when I go pick mm. it up probably later tonight. Uh, I'm like, "Yo, you'll never believe this." <laughs> like that's awesome. But um What's uh, some cool random happenstance fate that has happened to you guys? Let us know in the comments. I think you're about to ask me that. I was like, I don't think I have any. Uh, I knew you don't have any because you have a very uninteresting life. Yeah, but that's fine. That's be- that's because I give you all. I give all everybody the content. And the exactly. Awesome you actually gas. have cool stories. Well, yeah. I just have fucked. Stories. And you just talk about your poop. Actually, no, I talk about my poop. Corey shit him stuff. The last episode. Anyways. Can we already talk about that? Yep. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk about me shitting myself. No, I was just bringing it up. Go listen to the last episode. Corey shit himself. Um, Yeah, you want to go check out that? Sorry. You want to talk about how we had Ludwig on the podcast? It went really bad, and he decided just to like. Oh, okay. You're talking about okay, yeah. Yeah. We had him on for like 15 minutes. I I think I think I think it was Lugwid. I don't think we got the right guy on actually. Well. I didn't remember I thought, him having like long blonde hair or wings. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know about that he either. Had wings. You didn't see the giant black wings. He broke our fucking wall, dude. We gotta rebuild the drywall now. Is he like ethereal? And for some reason, I can't see him, but you can. No, we both saw him. He was in. He was right here. He had another mic. We were talking to him. It went fine, and then he got upset because you were the faster button masher, and and he just threw a fit. Well, maybe but Lug- I don't think it was Lugwig. Lug, 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 Ludwig. I think it was Lugwid. Lugwig. L- Lug- 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 Lugwid. Lugwig. Lug- what the fuck? Just try to say Ludwig and you'll fuck it up. Ludwig. Lugwig. Lug. Lugwid. Lug- 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 Lugwig. Lugwig. There you go. How do you say hieroglyphics? <laughs> Why is it that I hear that word and my brain is just like, how do you say that? How do you get those two noises? How do I together? say that word that I just heard? Hieroglyphics. Hi- Don't think about it. Just do it. Hiero- Hieroglyphics. 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 Hydrodrifts. 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 Kaka carrot cake. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. carrot cake. Okami now. Okinawa, La Dieter Dam. La Dieter Dam. I shit my pants. La Dieter Dam. I fucking love that name. <laughs> La Dieter Dam. Yeah. La, La Dieter Dam. I just imagine a dude standing on like it'd be it's like a farm. I imagine that being next to a farm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from La Dieter Dam, and I just have a farm of skunks, and it's a good time. I love playing fetch with my skunks. 
<laughs> what? You like playing playing fetch? I love playing with fetch with my skunks? skunks back in Litterdam. You know, the fuck, it's a good town. They got they got crows and c- crows and skunks. And well, the skunks are mine, but crows and skunks, crows and, and a dam. That's why they call it later dam. But the dam only holds a liter. So it's actually just a bottle. Cool. Cool. So you gonna buy me a drink? <laughs> Alright, everybody. Um No, I won't buy you a drink, but um though I think this is about time we end the podcast. Uh uh uh, uh, fuck you, L- Ludwig. L- Ludwig, come on our podcast. Bye. Bye.